Shalom. I want to start giving all praises due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, and salutations to all you teachers and Akam out there teaching and preaching this word in righteousness and judging in righteousness. It's Brother Shema. Quick to the point. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 9. But before I get into that scripture, just wanted to, you know, say like today, you know what I'm saying? You woke up, you know what I'm saying? You're feeling like a little down, you know what I'm saying? No matter what it may be, you know what I'm saying? You feel like, you know, you're trying to work hard and, you know, the best of your ability. You're still trying to come up short. You got your family members that you're trying to deal with. You know what I'm saying? And then you got all, th you know, you got infirmities, you know what I'm saying? And shit like that. And you're like, damn, man, I got a lot of shit that I got to deal with. So what do you do? You know what I'm saying? You look up a scripture to upbuild you spiritually, to keep you going. You know what I'm saying? Because you just remember, you're not going to always be in the same predicament. Things going to get better, you know? And how do I know that? Because we have faith. We have faith and trust in this Bible, which is your our words. Hebrews chapter 2, verse 9. But we see Yahawashah, who was made a little lower than the angels. So he took a lower position, lower than the angels, all right, to do his father's work, to do his father's will, okay? For the for the suffering, for the suffering. Now, we all know how Yahawashah suffered and how he died and how people betrayed him and the things that they did. They did. He died a terrible suffering death. And remember, he took a little lower estate than the angels. For who? For the nation of Israel. Okay? For the suffering of death crowned with glory and honor that he, by the grace of the Most High, should taste death for every man. So that's your grace, that's your peace, that's your salvation. You know, so things ain't gonna always be the be bad for the for the um children of Yasha Allah. You know, when you feeling down and out, man, what you do, you go to these scriptures that's gonna upbuild you. And you pray to the Heavenly Father, you know. Things gonna get better, man. You know, for all of us. We're not gonna always be in the same state, you know, which is hell, which is captivity. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. And that's first and foremost the comforter, which is this, which is which is the holy scriptures. And that's also us ruling, and in, in, in cap. That's also us ruling, and this captivity is going to change from us. We're going to be in our heaven, you know. What I'm saying, and the heaven is us ruling over these nations, having that ruler mentality. So just keep pushing, doing the best you can. Rehearsing the righteous acts. Okay? So, just short to the point, you know, when you're going through something, just meditate. Back aches, infirmities, jobs, family members, you know what I'm saying? Financial situations. You're going to be all right. Thus says the Lord, not Shema. Shema don't have nothing to do with anything. I'm just a mouthpiece. Put your trust and faith in Yahweh. And Yahweh Shah, and he'll put you through. All praises and glory due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Shalom.